What is up, you guys? I just wanted to come on here and give you guys um, a couple of esports plays for the day. Um, if you've been following along with the channel, um, we've been getting more and more into esports correlation, which is um, pretty cool to see. And uh, yeah, really excited about it. That there's a pretty big opportunity with um, esports correlation, just because the NFL is ending soon. Obviously, there's one more game to go, but um, yeah, finding other opportunities. Um, out there on prize picks and underdog and all that kind of good stuff. Um, if you're new here, we do a lot of correlated betting. Um, here is a tracker of a correlation tool that I use. You can see that it's up over 800 units since the middle of August. So, um, you know, this, this isn't my performance, um, but this is a tool that I use and I get a lot of my plays from is this correlation tool. And you can see how well correlation works um, if you consistently take them and um, yeah, consistently put um, a, a, you know a small amount of your bankroll on these correlated plays um, at a high volume. So that's kind of what I'm trying to provide here is uh, plays that you can take at a high volume and uh, um, you know hopefully do do well with. So first and foremost, let's uh, hop into the first play. Um, this is for League of Legends. And how this works is, um, like I said, they're correlated. We got the team uh, LEV. We got two players on the team LEV. And then we got the team uh, R7. So two players on R7, two players on LEV. Uh, you can see the players on LEV, we have less. And then the players on um, R7, we have more. So how this works is, um, normally with League of Legends, one team is going to get up early. And uh, they're going to like get some kills. They're going to get some... Um, like a lead, right? And um, you know, tell tell me if you guys know how League of Legends works or how it doesn't, uh, or if it doesn't in the comments. But I posted a video a couple days ago now um, explaining a little bit about League of Legends and how um, these plays are correlated. Um, but just just as a rundown, normally one team gets a lead early, whether that's kills or um, objectives, or they they're just the better team, and they're able to kind of snowball that lead into more and more kills. So they get a couple kills early. And because they get strong from those kills, they're able to just like keep killing the opponent. And then the opponent's not able to kill them because they uh, didn't get that early lead. And uh, the other team's just too strong, right? They're like all Super Saiyan. Um, so that's what we had hoped for R7, right? So we'd hope R7 gets an early lead. Um, and they're able to get early kills and snowball those kills into more and more and more kills. And then just win the game. Um, on, on, the, on the opposite side of that, we'd want LEV to... Um, you know, have that happen to them and uh, not be able to get early kills and uh, lose, right? <laughs> pretty much is, is what we want. Um, so yeah, that, that's how that works. And pretty much if that happens, if R7 gets up early, gets early kills, snowballs those kills into more and more kills, um, and LEV doesn't be able to do that and not be able to get kills, then all we really need is one thing to happen. We just need R R7 to, to do that. And if that happens, then all four of these plays should hit. So then all four of those plays should uh, turn $20 into $200, um, which is pretty crazy um, when you think about it. Because, you know, it's there's probably like a 40% chance that that, happen, that happens for R7. And then maybe a 40% chance that that uh, happens with LEV. Because it could. You know, LEV could be the one that gets early kills. And then there's maybe a 20% chance that it's just a close battle. And, and, you know, maybe there's a lot of kills or not a lot of kills. Because the teams are really evenly matched. Or um, they're just both playing well. And, you know, it's just it's just an even game. Um, but you can see, we it, this is $20 into $200. All we would need to do is hit one in 10 of these to, to be profitable, right? Because this is 10x on our money, 200 times, or sorry, 20 times 10 is 200. So we just need to hit one of these to break even pretty much. Um, and you can see like how I've put it, it's a decent decent odds that this does happen, that, that all of these could hit. All right, and then second play for the day, this is the same thing. Um, I do recommend that you kind of put the same amount of money on all of your plays just because that's going to uh, work better. So whether that's $5, $10, if you're a big baller and put fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, you know that could work too. Same sort of concept here. We got the team go, two players on go, two players on GW, um, and same same thing here. We got two players on two players going less, two players going more. You know, don't worry about the mid or the bot or the top of the jungle. Um, you know, that's all gonna kind of shake out. But um, yeah, we have 
uh, this team, GW, and we'd want them to get ahead early, snowball their kills into more and more kills, and then the team go, we'd want that not to happen to and uh, uh, lose the game pretty much. So if that does happen, then there's a good shot that four of these plays hit for us, and uh, that would be really cool to see. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Hopefully um, one of these hits, um, like I said, we – you know, if, if, if we could just hit one in 10 of these, that would break even on our money, and that would be doing better than, you know, 95% of people that do prize picks, right? Because most people are just doing four plays that are all going to be um, individual plays, and they're going through all these sports, and they're doing basketball and football, and just these random sports all together where they're not correlated. But this way, we have pretty much one outcome needs to happen. For this one in particular, just would be GW to, to have a lead and, and win. And uh, then all four of these plays should hit. So, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you guys have been enjoying, if this makes sense to you. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you're excited for more. So, um, yeah, let's hope these hit. And thanks for watching.